Hello. I hope I caught that. Can you do that again? That was very validating. Oh, it's gonna be a lot of like low back pain though. So we know that there's an energy. We saw you set this meter off and then the other meter. Um, unfortunately, we did not document that original moment because we were just setting everything up and walking away from the meters. I love to do that um, too. But if you want to interact, we are here to help validate you and maybe get you some peace if you need to move on or if you're having any trouble. Um, we we want to help you. Of course, if you're here that to upset the family, um, you're going to have to really move along. We can't have that. So up there. We're trying to give you options of how you might want to interact with us, but you don't have to. We won't force you. But what you have to know is that if you are negative or if you are causing them to be uncomfortable, we're going to move you along out of this space. Are you clear with that? And do you know that I am going to bless the home? But we want you to move on somewhere where you can be at peace. The positive energies are going to be allowed to stay. Can you touch that meter again to validate that you're an actual energy or are we going to debunk you? That was just so weird though. Yeah. That it did that in the first place. Are you kind of done talking to us? It's almost like they were like trying to get away from us, like run out of the room. Hmm. Can you please come back? Can't reproduce it. I'm trying to reproduce it. Mm, not sure. Not sure. I'm not totally convinced. What? I mean, you're pretty far from the window on that. Yeah, no, I'm very, yeah, no, and it's not staying on. Good. Here goes the kid, too. You're just running around this room, aren't you? Okay. Feel free to play with the devices. That's what they're here for. We want to validate that the ceiling fan is not going, and there's no AC running right now. We just want to validate if you need help, or if you need to move on, or if you are a friendly energy. We are trying to figure out who you are, who you are, and what you need. So, if you are the more aggressive energy, if you are the energy that maybe is making people feel uncomfortable. Is there a way you can prove that or validate that? Perhaps you can touch one of these meters to validate who you are. I'll give you a moment to touch one of the meters. Are you angry that houses were built here? Is that the problem? You're maybe angry, like uh, considered desecration. The people who live here now have nothing to do with that. Do you speak English? Quiet. Let's um wanna try some of the other rooms? Yep. So if he's not gonna play. Yeah. I know there's friendly spirits here, but they don't feel like I don't do, feel like do one thing. In. Walk towards the closet with the male rim. Not close enough to set it off though. No. As I, I was saying. And I, didn't, and I didn't even set it off. So you, you literally have to hit it. That, like just doing that. Which yeah. shows that you, know, you have to show you actually have to hit the antenna on it, yeah. That's hard to set it off. Let me see if it's doing anything on the uh elf. Well there is a printer there and everything. You gotta hit over there. That was right about here. Okay, yeah. Shit! Oh, that's that. 
And that wasn't, I wasn't close enough to set it off. What are they doing? They, they're like going running. Or, that's or, okay. That's okay that that was you. That's what, that's what we're encouraging. Oh, these people. <laughs> now, now it's that. Hello? Are you one of the protective spirits? Is that why you got quiet when we asked if, about the aggressive? Are you protective? I knew you were kind of hiding over here. So you're a protective soul? Okay. Can you touch one of these too? If you're the, the nice, I know there was a nice sweet little old lady that I, I felt. I just saw something. Uh -huh, I saw that too. Oh, it was a fly. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Debunk. Like, what was that? <laughs> I saw something move. I was like, what was that? <laughs> like, I'd stare at it for a minute. Like, oh, no, no, just a bug. K2? K2, temperature right. alarm. So she's taking a little longer to be able to figure out the meters. Yeah. All right, so you're the, you're the protective uh, woman, yeah? Shoe fly, don't bother me. <laughs> So if you're the protective female spirit that's really loving, we, we're okay with your energy around because you're helping. You're okay to help and take care of the family. But we don't want any of the negative energy. So if there's a negative energy, can you help me get rid of that energy out of the space? Set one of the alarms off for yes, please. Are you willing to help us cleanse the home? She's really shy. Don't be shy, we need your help. Are you willing to help us cleanse the home? Spiritually? No. Thank you. That would be a validation. Yeah, you're in the middle of the room too. I am not touching anything. Thank you, ma'am. I, I appreciate that. Thank you for validating that. No, they're gonna they're gonna lose their minds over this one. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna cut camera. It's, it's a nice dead person. <laughs> That's what she's saying. She's excited. Yeah. I'm gonna need in there, you know. <laughs> Can you touch one of the meters for me to validate? The trifield keeps moving. Yeah, I'm on its own too, huh? So that shouldn't be a thing. Yeah, it was moving all on its own, like it jumped up. Right when you said that. So you're the protective male spirit. Can we move this over a little bit? Sure. Just flatten it out. Okay, if you're the protective male energy, can you do something to validate that for me? The trifield, no, the trifield's moving very, very nominally though. All right, got that. If you're the, the protective male, can you make that stop? Are you the female? Change tone. If you're the female, can you make it stop? I'm gonna have to debunk you. There's a desperation that I'm feeling now. I'm one of these energies that might be desperate to- I'm gonna change that to EMS just to see. Desperate stay. to go home. That's okay, that's just resetting. Okay, like, Thank what? You. Can you make it stop? Thank okay. you. Okay. <laughs> Finally. I don't know. Do you need help? If you need help, can you touch one of these meters? Where's the middle room? Right there. Oh, right there, okay. I needed to move it far enough yeah. away from the Alexa thing. So, if you are here because you want to be crossed over, can you touch one of the meters? Yeah, let's try that other room. All right. That was not me. Hello. And this is where I thought they were messing with the water pipes. Did you mess with the water? That's me. We just want to know. Can you come back? Did you mess with the pipes? 
I'm sorry. Yeah. I was like, I didn't mean to do it. But you did. Don't be afraid. We, we just want to talk to you. We're not trying to hurt you. We are trying to validate you and then help you move on if you need it. Is there anybody here who needs help moving on to the next plane? That was super weird how, like, all of a sudden just yeah. freaked out for no reason. Huh. Do you mess with the water in this room? It went crazy on the, the yeah. pod. And just for a second. I don't even know why. It went from green then to yellow, and it has four different colors on there, like, as far as intensity level. Uh -huh. So it kind of went to the mid-level of intensity, and yeah, then it, it just backed off. We play Ghost in the Graveyard a lot, and it's hmm. when it's dark, like we don't let any lights on except for a couple of little Halloween lights. Mm -hmm. So you can hide, you know, just in a corner or something like that. Sure. And the girls have to carry a flashlight, and I do too, mm -hmm. because if we have to go in the closet or the office, it's so scary that we have to have a light in there. We don't want to go in there in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh. That one off. Did you, get a, did you get a tribal hit? Yeah. Oh, when she was telling that. So, yeah, cool. Apparently they watch the fun. Uh-huh. Because they just touch that. <laughs> no, and, and, you know, it's fun to play little games and do little things. But, honestly, being afraid of the dark is kind of normal for a lot of sensitives. Okay. Yeah. It's not unusual. And I haven't figured a way to get around it yet. Okay. <laughs> So I'll let you know if I ever do. Okay. <laughs> I, get I get startled easily, and I get startled in the dark sometimes, and it happens. Yeah. So it's not that out of bounds. Right. Okay. It's sort of normal. A lot of this energy is like the empath energy, the intuitive energy. Right. That kind of stuff. Wow, that was you. Yeah, that probably was me because I moved it, yeah. Yeah, you moved the pillow, so... Be right back. I gotta sure. tell them to take the the There's just energy it's sort of like floating around. They're very bouncy around, yeah. Yeah, it's like they're they're it's bouncy. not in one place. They're just moving around all over the yeah, place. Yeah, for it's sure. To uh, point one. For that, and I had my airplane on everything. Okay, good. Um, but I just had a random point one on her side of the bed. So. I mean, I'm at point two right here. It's just. I mean, it's obviously very nominal, but yeah. what, and it, it actually helps give some comfort for the fact that they have an ergonomic bed. Yeah. But it's not tripping off all the meters. And I think we picked up some residual energy from her abilities. Yeah. A well, the, now the high RF gain in the lower left hand corner here, for the audience that's seeing this video, that is the um, that's the smart home, the Alexa. So we discount that. Yeah. The, other the, EMA, the EMF that we're getting is probably the fact that it's a Tempur-Pedic bed that lifts up, so I'm not too worried about that. Of course, huh. we did get that weird energy on her side of the bed. So. Well, that's why I wanted to see if it's any different on one side of the bed from the other. I could bring the mail over here, too, just yeah. to see. I didn't get any hits on this side of the bed with that. That's why I'm kind of wondering. And it's zeros. I got up to a point two on this side, yeah. or the other side, and so I don't know why. But this side's it's a little higher, right at the foot of the bed, off, honestly. Oh. Interesting. Got a one point oh. No, it's interesting. That's that's pretty background, but still. Yeah, it's background energy. Just it's kind of fascinating. Yeah, why it fluctuates. Yeah. But on a Tempur-Pedic bed in a smart home, I would debunk it. You kind of have to, unfortunately. Yeah. You want to try the closet? We can do the closet. Are you gonna need on me? That is a cat. I don't know about the tribo though. The tribo is not the cat. The Mel was the cat, yeah. but the tribo, no, the cat's all the way over here. I don't know what that's all about, but that validates that weird wonky feeling and yeah. the feeling of somebody being dead under here. Really? I can't help but laugh. <laughs> Alright, come here. 
Let's cuddle over here. I can take him. All right, well, good news is not, I'm going to move away from the tribal in case it's me. I want to cuddle with Good, good news, it's not a ley line. Oh, good. Thank God. I think it's because it's a burial site. Yeah, it's not a ley line. I would do So the compass is acting normal. Thank God. Why is it acting normal? Because it has to. Because it's a compass. It doesn't have any choice. It's a compass. So when they, so when you do this, and they, it's pointing to what is north, in fact, and when it moves 45 degrees off of north, like we've seen happen before, that's something different. But that's not happening here. It is not. All right. Do you want to set off on another one of the meters for us here? Oh, you're purring. is so comforting. If you have to sit in a portally energy, you might as well have a cat. No, I, I don't I don't even think it's a portal. I and it's not a ley line. I think it's because there's there's a sacred energy to it. So I think um, it's a good thing that I incorporated sweet grass into my smudge material. Okay. Uh, I think we need to talk to these energies and try to set them free. But I think it's because it's a, a I feel like I, I keep seeing all the bodies. Oh you want to validate that? Is your body here? Is your body in this space, un far under the ground? Are there human remains under this home? Can you validate that for us? We want to help you go home. Where you feel safe. You don't have to be afraid of us. You can come back. I almost feel apprehension and nerves out of them. I've got an air pressure change. Oh, okay. Is that you? That was that the cat that set that off? No, he wasn't close enough. Let me try get. Yeah, I'm this close and it's not sitting. No, you had to get that close, and he was all the way in my lap. Of course, now he's gonna go walk over to it. The camera's... Now that is the cat. Yeah, that is the cat. Okay. But I'm getting an air pressure change. <laughs> so, yeah, he's Next. not... The cat is not changing air pressure. I'm going to reset that. Uh -huh. uh -uh. What's it doing? It's facial recognition locking on the shoes. Well, that's weird. That is weird. It doesn't look anything like a face. <laughs> no, no, they don't. And it's right next to the eddy meter that keeps getting an air pressure hit. Yeah, oh, that's weird. Yeah, that's validating something, in my opinion. Definitely. That's not normal. I'm going to reset it. All right. It's that red square. Okay. That's moving around. If there's a soul here that died here a long time ago, did you live on this land or come through this land a long time ago? Can you do something to help n help me know that that's what I'm feeling that's that's valid? Make the yellow light go on again like you just did. If you could do that for me to validate that you're here. I'd appreciate that, please. I'm getting a free bath. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Now it's locking up here. That's, what but is there, going on? Well, there is a face there. There's a fish face, and there's a upside down photograph there. So I'd, I'd debunk that, but not the not shoes. Not the shoes, yeah. Not the shoes, the shoe yeah. The shoe is not a face. If there's a soul here that was buried here, can you do something to acknowledge your presence with us? Because we are going to bless the home, so we need to be able to help you move on. And we need to know that you're here and that you want our help. Fine, it's just not doing it now. We got a trouble. Oh, that was the cat. I got a full-on cat bath. <laughs> and it's not doing it now. I can point the camera right at the shoes, and it, it, it's uh, not. Trebo electric. It's not doing any kind of lock. And there's nothing near it. Yeah, I'm validating that. And now let's lock it on the shoes again. Thank you. Right, you are permitted to interact with us. I'm but once we bless the home, I'm gonna turn the geophone on too. You're gonna have to move on. 
Do you understand that? This is kind of your chance to let us know that you are here. And we need to let you know that negative energy is not going to be permitted to stay in this space. I do hear a cat purring. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's very happy. Oh. You're happy kitty. Something feels weird. Um, I feel the, the like a pain, like almost a like a feminine pain. Mm -hmm. Um, like either trouble with feminine issues, or bodily issues, or maybe even um, like uh, like miscarriage energy or something like that. Like there's like a loss. Mm. There's that type of vibration. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know from when that's like when that happened, but there's some sort of loss in this. I felt like a loss in the space. Makes either miscarriage still but heavy pain. Like the whole bottom, like all the reproductive region just like all of a sudden just like it felt like it clamped down and hurt really bad. Very uncomfortable. It's dropped half a degree in here since we came in here. Which is odd. Uh, I don't think the AC is hitting it either. We got more body energy yeah. and it shouldn't go cooler. Not a lot. Half a degree is not that much, but still. Mm. So, if there's a soul here that wants to talk, we have a recorder going. You can say anything you need to say. Or you can touch any of these meters to show us that you are, in fact, here. Because you are showing me some images and you're making me feel things. But I need to kind of know if you actually want to talk to me. I'm just sitting in the energy to see if I can pick up anything and hear anything. Uh, they show me like fruit and fruit trees like peaches and apricots a, a particular soul it's something that they liked like I see them like canning fruit and vegetables or canning something really I was room put it. Would you like to take me farther into your energy? It's a female. And she's heavy set. And brown hair. And very bright smile. Dark eyes. She seems to have a little problem with her blood sugar. Um, I do see her on some land. She grew up on near some land. And I do see that she is, um, she's got on an apron. And she's doing the, the she's got the cans and the, like I hear, I hear the pop of the, like the ceiling of a can. And, uh, I don't know where she's living or where, where, her, where she's located because she's got some sort of like cellar or somewhere cooler to store the, the canned goods. Hmm. That's just what I saw from her. She just took me deep down into a whole vision of some sort of place. It's kind of interesting. Dropped another half a degree while you did that. Hmm. I wonder where she came from. We've, we've dropped about uh, 1.3 degrees since uh, since you started talking to it and, work, and working in here. I'm just trying to stew in the energy. Oops, air pressure change and cold spot. Alright. Ma'am, are you still here? Warm, air pressure, and cold. Thank you.
Can you tell me anything else about yourself to help me figure out where you belong? <clears throat> uh, let up like a Christmas tree, essentially. There's a, um, a warm, cold, and and air she's, pressure she's, multiple times. She's somebody. She has like a grandmotherly energy, but it could be like it could be several generations back even. But she's got this energy like she's expressing to me. Um, but but she got she got called something different. It was something more unique. Um, but I'm not, I can't quite hear her. God, it's also such a struggle. I can't hear them. Um, I do see a fruit pie cooling in a window. Um, and I do hear the sound of chickens. Maybe a, a maybe a home that was here before that before before Reno was here. Maybe. Maybe I don't even know if it was. Here. Do you have a time frame? Not yet. Not yet. Um, I don't even know if it was located here or if she's attached to some other energy that wandered into the space or is attached to them somehow. It could be a couple generations back because I'm feeling maybe like 1910, 1915. Yeah. Maybe, but it's hard to, it's so hard to see. This would have been out of town at that point. Yeah. Reno was here, but it was small, much smaller. Air, te air temperature continuing to drop. Please show me more. So she's going out to the front porch and she's hanging a rug over like a banister and she's got something and she's hitting it to get the dust out of it. And it's some sort of like brownish rug. Um, She's got one piece of jewelry that's very important to her. I, I like. I see some blue, kind of color something blue. She doesn't have much, but there's something blue. She looks a little like either Hispanic or native complected. Um, yeah. It's a possible native energy then. But it, it could be like either Hispanic origin or even mm. Italian origin. But it's something. I don't think there was a lot of Italians here in, at the turn of the century, but maybe. Just something with that, that skin tone. Oh, yeah, I got you. Mediterranean skin tone. Okay. And that type of. Could it be Native American? It could be. But I'm having, I'm struggling with, with seeing it clearly. She said something about scalloped potatoes. That's a random comment to make. Out of all the other stuff she was showing me, I just saw potatoes. And then, like, I saw, like, thinly sliced potatoes. And that's all I can see from her right now. Wow. I don't know, quite know what all that was about, but that's what she showed me. So, thank you, ma'am. I appreciate it. I suddenly feel warmer. There's two degrees cooler in here I than it was when you started. I feel a lot warmer. What temperature is it? 72.3. so weird. Started out at 74.5. Ah. And the AC hasn't kicked on once. No, I think the vents even closed. Yeah, the vents closed anyway. Okay, I think we can uh, regroup and kind of collect some of our thoughts about this. Because I have yeah. a lot of energy to saturate in. Yep. And we've got some good hits. Sporadic, though. It's sort of it's running, away, sporadic. running away from us. Yeah, it's like they're almost nervous. So you, you're able to cue in on it in here and and get a description of who it is so I, I do as you as an empath i do have a couple of questions for you is, are is there a portal in this home 
I don't think it's a portal. I think it's the gifted people that are the revolving door. I see. That makes sense. I don't. Yeah, I don't. They, they are the portal, and we've seen that before. Uh -huh. I don't think it's the house. I mean, yeah, the house has issues and energy because there's dead people buried under it. And, there's the and that's the heaviness. That's the heaviness. Yeah. But the the periodic visitation of a variety of okay spirits, that's because they're attracted to the beautiful lighthouses that are living in the space. Yeah. That's why. Have you ever seen the Excelsior at night in Las Vegas that shoots this beam of, sky, uh, of light up into the sky? Is uh, it, isn't it the Luxor? Did I say the, the, yeah, it is the Luxor. I said the Excelsior. I'm sorry. It's the Luxor. But it shoots that beam. That's what yeah. I meant. It shoots that beam of light up in the sky. Well, that's what a, a sensitive, sensitive looks like to the dead. Yeah. Yeah. They have that yeah. that beacon type of energy. And I think that is part of it. But like they could live other places and it wouldn't be as intense. But because this has some sacred energy and burial energy into the location, that's dialing it up extra beyond what they would have experienced somewhere else. That'd be funny. Okay, what do we happen? I don't know yet. Was it the camera? No. It's not. It's on the couch. There's two, two of them. Two of them, yeah. Christ on a cracker. I got it. OMG. Got them. I see it. There are two goes on the couch. Well, you're right in the way of the <laughs> camera. I, I really gotta take pictures of it. Oh my god. What can you, is can one of you wave to us to let you know that let us know that you're intelligent? And they leave, and one leaves. Can you wave? To, uh, oh, when he's coming oh, back, can you wave on the couch? Can you wave to me? Laying down. Give me a wave. Oh, right there, right there, right, right there. there. Oh, that, that was yeah. good. That was good. Hello. Hi. Are you Native American? Oh, oh. So, hi. Look at Why are they standing yeah. on their oh, head? Oh, yeah, that's what they kind of do. So. <laughs> you have great moves, buddy. <laughs> now, the reason they look like that is because they don't have a body and their 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 energy is constantly flowing and moving. Oh, they're moving so a So they're lot. not actually dancing. Well, they might be. How you? Now, hey, they are insulted now. <laughs> they feel like they're having a party. But that doesn't make it not paranormal. It's very paranormal. If you're Native American, can you raise your hand for me? If you came from a local tribe, right there, that hand yep, moved. Yep, yep. And that one. And that one too, yeah. Well, thank you so much. We love your land and we respect this space. Thank you for sharing this space with us. We're telling your story tonight. We under I'll try not to sit on you. Yeah, that's a very nice thing. We understand, we we understand that your remains are here and we honor that and we will work that into our blessing today. Now, we will honor your heritage and your tribe. Thank you for sharing the space in this land. We acknowledge your time here. Thank you so much. They're cool. Ghosts are amazing. Yeah, you'll know, see reflections, but that's just the lights, the, TV, the room lights. The... Okay. I think we're good. All right. Let's do a sweep over here real quick. Wow. I got that. Oh, we did all the rooms already. Yeah. Was there anything in my room? No. It's so, all right. And the only other thing I... Well, I can check the bathroom. It's interesting. I'm not sure why we got that. Well, the AC is not going in, in this room. All right. If, if you're intelligent, can you make that stop? Thank you. And go again. Can you light it up again for me? Can you touch this device in my hand again? Thank you. I think it, it might just be the door. No, because now it's going to the other thing. Are you there? Oh, that, that's AC. Keep luck on that. But the AC's not going in here. I don't feel it.
All right. Good enough. Good enough. There's one of the smoke detectors. Yep. <laughs> I only permit love and light and healing to dwell in this space. Only positive energy is welcome in this home. If you are not of love, if you are not of light, if you are not of healing, you are now called to leave. And any soul that is looking for a way out, the light is open for you. And you are permitted to leave. No energy that is of a lower vibration is permitted to stay in this home. Only positive energy may remain. Smudge the towels. <laughs> you never know. This is going to take a little extra. Yeah. In here. For sure. Only loving energy, healing energy, light energy is welcome in this space. You are not of love and of light and of healing. Or if you are trapped or confused or lost, it is now time to go. No energy that is not of a light and healing vibration is permitted to stay in this space. And you must be in harmony with the family that is here. We give a lot of love, a lot of light, and a lot of respect to all of the native energies and native tribes that lived in this area and for how you may have been improperly buried or your burials not respected. We recognize you and we see you and we give you the utmost respect and respect to your final resting place. Thank you for being part of today. Thank you for being here with us. We are giving you love. We are giving you light and respect. Any of the native souls, please know that this family is of a good heart and they simply want to live in harmony with you. They are here to respect your land and they want to live here with love. And they want to live here with peace. Feel free to go ahead and film. That's fine. And I ask that you permit them to stay here, and you permit them to be happy here, and that you show them how to share love and light with you. Mel, I feel a little bit of a cotton candy feel behind me. Yeah, I know, something touched my arm when I was in there. I think it was that woman. It's yeah. okay, ma'am. We respect you and we value you as well. Thank you for being here and helping. Please help them sleep well, feel safe, feel comfortable, and have less pain and less suffering in their bodies. Please allow them to sleep soundly and comfortably. And please bring them blessings and bring them love. You are not allowed to enter this space if you are not here for a purpose of love, if you're not here for a purpose of light. And we ask that only protective energies remain in this space. And we know that there are beautiful native energies that are also in this land, and you are permitted to remain. But please treat this family with respect and love, because if you come here with negativity, you are commanded to leave and not allowed to stay. This is a home of love. This is a home of light. This is a place of peace and tranquility. You are not permitted to be remaining here if you are not of that vibration of love. If you do not dwell in light, 
you may exit at this time. Only healing energies in this home. And all energies that need help crossing over, please cross now. The light is open for you, and you are being welcomed into that space of light. I'm going to smudge you. I smudge the kitty. Oh, well. All right, kitty. <laughs> He's like, what the blank is going on? <laughs> <laughs> what are you people doing? First you put holy water on me, then you do this weird stuff with the smoke. I don't understand. It's a place of love and life and feeling. Nothing like it is maybe in this space. This is a space of love. This is a space of light. Hello, poopy. He's become interested in the food. <laughs> yeah. And we welcome love, light, and healing in this space. Only love, and only light, and only healing is welcome here. If you are not of that vibration, it is now time to go. No, this is your investigation. <laughs> these nudgings is we once caught a phenomenal piece of evidence doing it. Oh, wow. Yeah. We caught a spirit leaving a portal. <laughs> the portal collapsed. Oh, so we were we were happy about that. And it's good validation for the clients too, of course, good summing up good video. And it's funny when Mel sets smoke detectors off. That's the other reason. It is not funny. <laughs> it's hilarious, actually. Exactly. Makes a great video. <laughs> it does not. You mock me. Don't mock the cleanser. <laughs> is that a llama? I think it is. That's a llama. A llama to me. I like that sunset picture. It's a good one. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Sometimes we are our own worst critics. Oh, I know I am. Let's walk here in the light. Only peace and healing. You are not permitted in this space if you come from a dark place. And if you were hurt or killed in this location, you may not dwell here anymore, but you can go home and you can go into the light. You are welcome into that light space. I ask that all heavy or negative energy now leave this home. Go for it.
This is a place of peace, a place of healing, a place of love, light, and protection. This is a sanctuary, and no energy that is negative is permitted in this home. If you are not of love or light, you cannot remain. If you are not of love, if you are not of light, if you are not of healing, you may no longer dwell in this space. You are called to leave this home immediately if you are not of a peaceful or loving vibration. I call to only positive energies to remain for a protective and healing purpose. Blessing your space. Absolutely. Oh, sits in here to read. Oh, if you want to put what a cool little yeah. yeah. Neat. Okay. A reading nook. Why didn't I think of that? Right. New project. <laughs> New project. Oh, I'm going to build a reading nook for myself. All right. <laughs> It'll have to be a little bit bigger than hers. It might. <laughs> okay, so now what I do with the, the remains of it, if, like, say if you have smudge wand, you can save. You could save a smudge wand and use it again, but if you have something like this that I'm doing for a one-time purpose, okay. I go kind of draw an energetic line in the sand and a literal line in the sand, and I pour this at the end of your driveway. That's a property, okay. that's a property line, yeah. Oh, great. If I could figure out how to get out the door, of course. It'd be helpful. It's going to be a little dark out here. Yeah, that's good. I don't know why our lights aren't coming on. Hmm. As a bug, not an orb. Nothing may cross this line. This is a space of love, light, and healing. Nothing's permitted to cross this border. Because it's breezy, I'm just tamping it all oh, off. Feels good. For sure, yeah, do that. Responsible. Look at all. Absolutely. How'd it feel? Um, good. I feel uplifted. Definitely uh, lighter. Hmm. Yeah. Feels a lot better, actually. You can breathe. The energy's kind of been, I don't know, peeled back, you know? That's kind of what I feel. So I think we'll uh, go in and we'll do a recap. Do a little recap and perfect. Close her out. I like it. Good job.